Hey everybody, Craig Sullivan here on Punch Radio on CFCR 90.5 FM and we're also uh, shooting this for the Feedback Society. So you could be hearing us on CFCR or watching us on the Feedback Society, but today uh, Hank has the plague or something, so he couldn't join us. But I've got a special guest, Dylan Hershuk from Versa Films. How's it going, man? It's going great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so uh, I've got Dylan on here for a couple of reasons. He has got a new film that he's putting into production called Our Last Day as Kids. And he's got a Kickstarter uh, that has started uh, this week, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, but I also just wanted to talk to Dylan about, uh, you know, movies in general and the scene in, in Saskatoon. So first of all, Dylan, uh, you know, like what, what's your background in film? Uh, yeah, so I've been doing film since I was like, uh, a little kid. It, it was, uh, I went through a bunch of different creative passions and then eventually found film and have stuck with it my whole life apparently. And uh, six years ago after film school, I started my own production company called Versa Films. Uh, most notably, we do music video stuff. Uh, we've done works with uh, bands like Spirit Box and Senses Fail, which are fairly big names in like the punk metal emo space uh depends on who's listening they might know him maybe not uh and then local acts like uh jeffrey straker velour pontex uh artists like that and that's kind of the main thing we were doing right now uh we do commercials corporate videos and stuff but music videos are our bread and butter right so how did you like how did you fall in love with film in the first place um i've always been into like creative projects and stuff uh when i was at like in second grade i wanted to be a writer then i moved to being super into like Yu-Gi-Oh and pokemon cards so i started making my own trading cards and selling them to kids in school eventually i found stop motion animation and became obsessed with that and then in grade eight we had a video project where we had to make like a a bullying short film and me and my friends took it way too seriously we were taking like the the tv dolly and using that for our camera dolly we were, uh, our teacher was allowing us to take kids out of other classes to use as extras. We shot it over multiple days. Uh, there was one scene where we had to like beat up the one kid in the, in the, in the scene, my, my close friend. And our principal was walking by while we were shooting and he's like, oh, that's not how you beat someone up. And he was showing us how to more authentically beat up my friend. Uh, and ever since that, I've just been kind of hooked. I didn't really think of it as my career. But it was just like, once I had that camera, I couldn't stop. And then eventually, my brothers were in a, a metal band. And because I just had the camera, I would film them all the time. And that kind of transitioned into just, oh, he was the kid with the camera who went to shows and documented it and stuff. And eventually, my high school teacher uh, really pushed me to pursue this as a career. Cool. So uh, we'll maybe uh, set the Kickstarter part of it aside for a second. We'll get to that. But tell me about the project, Our Last Day as Kids. I know you're sort of like trying to transition from, you know, music videos and stuff like that into, uh, I don't know if I'd call it like dramatic filmmaking, but maybe like more storytelling based uh, filmmaking. But tell me. Yeah, about absolutely. Definitely dramatic, super dramatic filmmaking. Uh, yeah. So I've been doing... Uh, Versa Films for quite a while now. My whole be-all, end-all goal is to eventually get to make feature films. Uh, and so this is me slowly dipping my toes. If you watch my music video stuff, you'll notice that a lot of them are very narrative-based um, and very like personal to me. And I've been kind of developing this film based on my teen years and my relationship with my brothers, because both of my brothers were in this rock band together. And I was just like, the kid brother on the sidelines with his camera like watching them grow and eventually kind of fall apart before my eyes and it was really personal to me and i always thought that was kind of really a weird dynamic uh and very interesting to me and so i've been developing this film called our last day as kids because i was like if i'm going to transition i want to make something super personal uh something that i can like really write from the heart and translate onto the screen and so that's where that came from. And it's it takes place in like the MySpace era where everyone had their swoopy hair, colorful hair. Um, and it's just like, it's a very nostalgic time for me and a lot of people. And that's, uh, without that time, I don't know if I'd be a filmmaker. So I thought if there's 
my first film or if I only make one film, I want it to be this thing because it totally encapsulates like my whole career dynamic. Right. It'd be interesting to see that like that time. I'm a few years older than you, obviously. So I I was around in that era uh, and I did not have the swoopy hair, but I had friends that were probably around your age that that, you know, that did and were part of that, whether it was like sort of the punk music scene or emo or, or, or stuff like that. Like, do you have to be careful, do you think, with the costuming when you go to shoot this in terms of like capturing the era, but not, you know, trying not to fall into kind of goofy parody? Yeah, like I want to, I want to encapsulate how silly some of it is for sure. Because uh, it was just this weird movement where it was very expressive, but sometimes very goofy and, and whatever. And I, I want it to toe the line of like, showing how goofy it is but in a very endearing honest way like I, I never want it to be like oh it's a comedy movie but there are comedic moments like I remember uh being a young teen and going to like the hair salon and there's you know parents and old ladies beside me as I have foil in my hair and <laughs> and you know getting like three colors in my hair and just looking ridiculous and scenes like that I'm like oh I think that's very fun and like we haven't seen too much of this time presented in film and stuff but yeah you're right like I don't want it to be a parody but at the same time I want it to feel authentically vibrant of that time and so sorry I this is a really stupid question and I thought I knew the answer to this but now that I'm realizing I don't is this a short film or a feature film uh, so <laughs> it, in my heart I, I want to make a feature film but I just know financially because I'm kind of starting my career where I am uh, there's no way I'd be able to get financing for a feature film. So I've condensed it into a shorter uh, film, but it's a long short film. We're aiming for like a 30 minute film right. so it can really tell because the story I want to tell is a little bit more than something that takes place over one day or one show. Uh, we want to really showcase the feeling of going to concerts and show this kind of uptick that this band is going through and then the the fallout and stuff so we're aiming for 30 minutes hopefully it feels like a little movie um i've told very ambitious stories through three minute music videos so it felt like the right place for me yeah. well and i mean lots of times those things can be a great like proof of concept uh damn, like there's been plenty of short films that were then made into feature films you know once the filmmaker got that vision on the screen uh, so tell Total, me about the yeah. Kickstarter. Like uh, you've got a Kickstarter up. Obviously, I know you you've got some funds and you've got some contributors, but you know you're opening it up obviously to friends and followers and people that sort of believe in you and your career. Uh, you know what what can we expect from the Kickstarter itself? Yeah, so the Kickstarter's always been something I've wanted to do, but it's had to be at the right time for the right project. Uh, it's a very scary thing to put yourself out there and like unfortunately have to ask for money because the project is much bigger than I could financially mean uh, be able to afford on my own. Uh, so we launched a Kickstarter last Friday over the long weekend. Uh, we're already 20% funded, um, which is awesome. We've gotten a lot of shares and support and, and stuff like that. Um, it is an all or nothing campaign. So our goal is $30,000, which is super ambitious. And like I said before, it's because we want to like showcase concerts and we want to dye kids hair and we want to be able to like put you back in this place in time. Um, but yeah, what you can expect is, uh, we're, we're looking for help. So, um, we want people to feel invested in the project and stuff. Um, if you donate, you do get access to the film. Uh, you do, there are posters you can buy, uh, t-shirts, um, there's stuff like that. But most of the focus on the Kickstarter is helping us get it made so we can present it to everyone and stuff. Um, it's less of a store, so it's not like it's not like you you give twenty bucks and you get a T-shirt for twenty bucks because that's where you get into some troubles financially. Is like oh we don't have money for our film, yeah. Uh, so yeah we have a lofty goal of thirty thousand um, dollars. I think we're at six thousand dollars so far over the weekend, which is a pretty good start. Um, and yeah, we're just trying to get this finance so we can make something really bold and and crazy and. Uh, hopefully one of the bigger short films that we've been able to do in Saskatchewan over the last little bit. So Nice. Yeah. And so that's just probably just go on Kickstarter and look up our last day as kids, right? That's, yeah. that's the easiest way to find it. Absolutely. Well, 
Well, we're, we are out of time for this segment, uh, but I also want to give a quick plug to the Druid's Hand, which I know you were the director of photography on. Uh, you and I will be doing a Q&A on June 3rd at the Broadway Theatre after the screening of the movie with Mitch Oliver and Jesse Sawitzki and Tara Oliver and all the uh, directors and producers and a bunch of the actors in it. So uh, that should be fun. So everybody can come out and see that. But uh, our last day as kids, go find the Kickstarter. Dylan Hershuck from Versa Films. Thanks so much for joining me today, man. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and good luck, of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>